reduced squatting range. Um, and again, like I said, playing with the stance, opening up the hip sometimes, or even being more narrow, depending on the levers. So, um, right. So I do not squat like this. I don't squat this way at all. I cannot, I cannot get down far enough for me. So I actually turn my feet out a little bit and this, this allows me to sink all the way down. Um, which is, which is good. This box is a great, if somebody's here though, if you're here, uh, which she was probably about here today, this box will, will tr start to train the range of motion that she needs to be in. So instead of her stopping here, I'm going to now make her sit all the way down. So she's going to come in next time. She's going to stand here. She's going to figure out which foot position feels good for her with, with my help. And then she's going to take a seat. This here, right? This here feels completely different than this here in, in this and all your hip flexors and, and, and everything that's going on in the squat. So I will tend to have my clients, um, stay here and I'll have them stay here and hang out here. And then I'll have them drop a little lower. And then I'll say, this is what you need to feel like every single time you're under the bar and you're coming down and up. It's a completely different feeling from here to here. So they need to mentally be aware of where they're at in space. Yeah. Doing the pause squat is good. You do a couple of reps and you'll give yourself like a two second pause at the bottom and really try to find that depth. And you don't really want to be doing that under the bar. Um, so I would recommend uh, bringing in some type of rod, like a shower curtain. Can you hand me that? So something really light, because if you're going from, hold on one second, if you're going from holding a... Thank you.